Sadam, 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 Master, thanks for joining us online. I'm going to be sharing opportunity and green energy set, working in the heart chakra on the hatha. The set attracts opportunities and opens up the heart center, allowing one to approach prosperity, consciousness, a plane of attraction. This consciousness can be summarized as follows. The more I open myself, the more I can attract. There's no need to struggle, and I have the ability to attract opportunities. Realizing opportunities and prosperity come in different forms and beyond our imagination, we deserve prosperity and we are loved by the divine. So in the spirit of that, let's prepare ourselves to tune in. Tuning in with Om Namo Guru Dev Namo three times and Ad Gare Name Jagat Gare Name Sat Gare Name Siri Guru Dev Name three times. Let's breathe in. Breathe out. In. Out. And the breath now together to tune in. Um. Pace as you like. 
We're gradually creating momentum. You're invited to concentrate the first vertebrae, first chakra, mudala, the root. As you in that sat, you stretch forward. As you exhale, you're invited to concentrate on the fourth vertebrae and the third chakra, manipura. Going along for the camel ride. Letting the breath and body and blood be your guide. Tuning in to subtle Nam, the truth. The core of that truth is your being, your soul. Honing your instrument to be a vessel for that. And having that truth impulse you move you, breathe you, align you, harmonize your psycho-spiritual centers, chakras, wheels, areas of consciousness, from the more unconscious, subconscious, to the more conscious, superconscious. Becoming more aware, more awakened, Vital consciousness. You're about halfway. If you haven't already, it feels right. Begin to speed up. So long as you can sustain the integrity of the movement, the neutral meditation on Satnam. Flexing the pelvis, flexing the navel, flexing the heart, spine, breath, spirit, truth. Thirty seconds. Facing the truth. Facing the soul. Not engaging with the ego, the mind so much. Last little bit. Stretch. Breathe. And now to end, inhale, come vertical, nice and aligned. Suspend the breath, suspend your focus at the third eye and pull Mool Lund, the root lock, tying the perineum, drawing the sacrum in and up and the navel to the spine, pressure at the first three chakras, inhale more, exhale. Expansion, contraction, we're gonna do it twice again. Deep breath in, expand. Apply more band. Exhale. Uh, actually, two more times now. Inhale. Pressure of the spine from the base up like a rod of energy. Squeeze, consolidate, concentrate, and be very still. Take the pressure, inhale more, exhale, be cool, exhale completely, inhale deeply, and mool the band, root lock. Press the root of the mouth, the tip of the tongue, concentrate with the third eye, raise the energy in and up, inhale more, exhale release. Let's take a moment to synthesize our energy and consciousness, 
palms are going to be up, long deep breaths. You're welcome to return to Sukhasana. And deep in, head and out. Exhale, sweep the legs out and forward. Bring the hands to the sides, the hips, palms down, toes pointed up. Nice perpendicular angle at the hips. Shoulders relax down. And we'll begin body drops, inhaling our butt up, exhaling down. You can start with the palms and see if that works for you. Or also, you can use the fists or even just the fingertips. However, you feel most supported without too much pressure in the wrists. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Round and pound. Rapidly. We're going to do full time exercises. This one is three minutes. Nalini resides coiled at the base of the spine, latent, dormant, and it is a healing power, first and foremost, really, evolutionary yogic power of healing. To an extent, it's awake in everyone and there for everyone in times of trauma for a healing presence. Like you're sending a shock wave of this healing energy through the spinal column, through the chakra system. Just doing your best, keeping up. You're now about halfway. However, you can keep pushing yourself up. Pounding back down. Vibrating the spine, vibrating the base. Just like we tone the chakras when we chant, creating a vibration here. The material level. Feel it, last 35 seconds. Keep up, sense what you're doing, what you're feeling, what's moving through you. Twenty seconds. Last five. Inhale, get comfortable, lengthen the spine, and go ahead and apply a root lock. Draw the needle in. Inhale more, exhale, inhale, contract, consolidate, tone, perineum, root lock, inhale more, exhale, inhale, Mula band, rectum, sex organ, and the navel in that order, in and up. Inhale, exhale, release, shake the legs out, 
Point flex the toes. Take a few breaths to yourself. Maybe be still or maybe move around, stretch. And ultimately we'll end up next in crow pose. Uh, in a low squat, you can always use a cushion to support you, your butt. Here, interlace the fingers, except for the index fingers, point straight forward, cross either thumb over the other, keep length in the spine, chin in, and holding here. Inhale to begin the breath of fire. Rapid, rhythmic, in and out breath. Every exhale, join the navel and the spine with the bellows. from the heart through infinity. Arms are limbs, branches, extensions of the heart, tree of life, the circulatory system, breath, blood, flow of life and love, passion and compassion. How you reach out, how you touch the world, objects, how you connect, how you relate. The next finger relates to the energy of Jupiter, element of air, quality of spiritual knowledge, knowledge of self, and one as a spiritual being, embodied in the physical. You're over halfway now, Keep up, enter into a powerful rhythm, pumping the breath through the belly. Sat nam, sat nam. Keeping length in the spine, keeping the neck lock, shoulders back. Final minute. Now to end, inhale, project out from the heart forward, and exhale, release the hands to the sides, and gently raise out of posture, stretch the legs forward. Shake them out, twist and turn. Massage the lower back or any part of the body that needs it. Backs the knees. And we'll come to a standing posture. And we'll begin running in place. One knee at a time, hands and fists. So when we raise the right knee, um, you can punch the left hand forward, hands of the fists. 
it's not specified which hand if to do alternate or the same, but just intuitively punching and running in place here for a few minutes. So be free to break the sweat. Go for five. Regulate yourself, running vigorously, pulling the knees up high with good punching motion. Cardio, prana, life force, breath, oxygen in the blood, move the chi, blood, prana, minerals. Where do you want to put your life force? The spring. What seeds are you planting? What are you no longer giving your energy, your attention to? What are you no longer engaging with? And what are you going to be engaging with? What are you running towards? What are you walking towards? What are you punching towards? What are you fighting for? Keep up. You will be kept up. Halfway. Sat, no, sat, no, sat, no. Get the knees high. The knees high. Come on, go, go, go. Also, you better be running out there. 45 seconds. Last little bit. 
few seconds. Inhale, stretch the arms forward, squeeze the fists, squeeze the arms. Exhale, arms to the sides. Mountain pose. Breathe deep, rooted in the soles. Circulate and radiate your breathing, navel and heart. Distribute your consciousness through the blood, full embodiment, full awareness. And let's come to the earth. And bring you the tissue. Okay, Kundalini Lotus. If you know it, get to it. We'll be balancing on the buttocks, holding on to the big toes ideally as we. Start to lean back and push forward through the feet. If possible, to get the legs nice and straight. Although sometimes we need to hold just like the, the backs of the legs, or even the backs of the knees. Pointing the toes like that here, keeping the chest lifted up, because we'll want to hold this for a few minutes with breath of fire. Nice alignment in the spine, engaging the core, keeping the chest lifted. Find your point of balance, find the threshold of your stretch. Kundalini Lotus Pose. Sacral Chakra and Navel Chakra, water and fire elements. Svadhisthana, one's own place. And Manipura, lustrous, shining gem. Halfway. of creativity, how you connect with others, how you connect with the flow of life, relationships, change, how you communicate with that pelvic intelligence, feeling, emotional wisdom of the subconscious, live, 25 seconds. how clear your vibe is. How 
expressive of you. Last few moments, perfect posture, stretch, inhale, hold. One root lock here, apply it. Draw energy up the spine, inhale more. Exhale, slowly release. Take a moment, be still or take care. Inhale deeply, exhale completely, and we'll move now to sit atop the left heel, if possible, putting pressure at the perineum, the base of the spine, sitting on the left heel like that. If that's not in your practice today, then you can just have the left sole against the right thigh. And then in either pose, we're going to bring the right foot atop the left thigh the right knee down. Hands are cupped below the navel. And we want to lift up the diaphragm, lift up the chest. And in that lifted posture, we're going to chant the mantra, Om So Hum, infinite creative consciousness, thou art within me. We'll chant strongly from the heart, and we want to hear the sound at the heart. Let's inhale deeply to begin. Concentrating the energy coming in the left palm and 
going out the right. So energy from the right palm over the head like an arc into the left. Forming an arch between the hands, beginning to hold here nice and strong with breath of fire, three minutes. Inhale deeply to begin. system, power of the heart, strongest part of the body, the electromagnetic field of the heart is said to be able to reach about a thousand miles, communicating subtle energy fields like that, love, telepathy, power, compassion, greatest yogic power there is. You're over halfway, keep stretching, best you can, arms straight, not bending the elbows. Nice. Use the power of your imagination, visualize energy from the right palm overhead to the left, then back through the arm to the heart, to the right side. Final minute, less than, keep a powerful breath of fire, engage your third eye, meditate on self numb. Thirty seconds. Final ten. Exhale. Inhale. Feel energy through the left fingers, through the left arm, to the right side, and then up overhead, back to the left. Inhale more. Exhale, relax, lower the arms and hands. You're invited to bring them to Gyan Mudra, palms up the top of the knees. Be still. Deep breaths, third eye focus, tip of the tongue into the mouth. Be at zero, no compromise. Zero point. Inhale. 
completely. This one completely. This next pose, we're bowing, bowing to the infinite, interlacing the fingers behind the head, just below the hairline, parting the elbows wide so the chest stretches open like that. Exhaling, hinging from the hips to bow forward, forehead toward the floor. Inhaling to rise, bowing to the infinite, inhaling with sat, exhaling with nam, silently chanting. Suffering and pain are of the ego. Joy and freedom are of the soul. So the spiritual solution is to surrender and be humble to the soul within, and the soul and each other. Love. The truth of presence. Sat, no. Halfway. It's a whole practice in Kundalini Yoga, bowing, jop, repeat, bow, devotion. Forty-five seconds, bowing to the infinity, infinite self. Thirty seconds. Soft, warm, last few. Serving the spine. Inhale, arise, part the elbows wide, suspend the breath, suspend your focus at the brow center, apply the bottom of your lock. Press the tip of the tongue to move the mouth, inhale more. Exhale. Be comfortable. Twice more again, inhale deeply, expand. And within that expansion, squeeze, contract, face the spine up along the side of the spine. Guide the energy, be guided by it, brow point, crown, inhale more, exhale. And inhale to apply the bottom time to time. Inhale more, exhale, release. Take a moment, circulate, integrate, synthesize. Harmonize, balance, try to be still, Gyanudra. Yeah. 
Inhale. Exhale, bring the arms out to uh, straight back from the shoulders. And then alternately, we'll raise the arms to 60 degrees. Inhale, use the right arm, goes up. Exhale, as it comes down. So fast, it almost, almost becomes like a breath of fire. Inhaling one arm up, exhaling down. Three minutes here. Exercise, keep breathing, keep moving. Final minute, two minutes down. We have a saying in Kundalini Yoga, when you're in the pits, the depths, the dungeon of life, move your armpits, lymphatic system, clear, cleanse, sweat, break it down, clear it out. Junction there of the nervous systems. Half minute. Keep up. Speed up if you can. Ten seconds. Now to end, inhale, hold and project from the third eye out to infinity. Exhale and relax. Be still. Physically and mentally, don't engage your thoughts, be still. Inhale. Exhale, and now bring the fingers interlaced above the crown of the head, thumbtips touching. About four inches above the crown, palms are down. This is called Shakti pose. Focus the eyes up and out of the crown chakra. Holding here, begin breath of fire, get comfortable. 
Keep the shoulder blades, the shoulders relaxed down the back. We'll be here for an extended period. So it's for cosmic connections. Open in the thousand petal lotus, Sahasrahara. To be able to receive divine light, inspiration, higher thought and cognition. Opportunities, inspirations come from within sometimes, yeah? Not always from the outside. Sometimes we find ourselves the creative pathway. Insight, the solution. Clear the cobwebs, spider web, the maze, the puzzle. Halfway here. Burn it with the breath. Cut it like a laser with the third eye, gazing through the crown of the head, top of the skull. Best you can, 30 more seconds here. If you need to rest the hands on top of the head, try to keep the breath going. Keeping the arms up like that, keeping the heart open. We have two more alternated mudras here. So next we're going to keep the fingers in place except for the Pointer finger, pointing the index fingers up. Hands remaining in place. Continue to focus up the crown. And now exhale. And begin breathing long and deep. If you need to, to stretch the legs, be free to do so. Just be comfortable in the body. Stretch the breath, long, deep, slow breathing. This is part two of three, and we're still holding here for a few minutes. Like a statue, be still the best you can. Deep in the breath.
Now, without lowering the hands, place the fingertips together with the palms apart like a teepee. And continuing to project in and up through the crown of the head. Again, a breath of fire once more. This is the final part. Last three minutes here. Beautiful, keep up. Keep striving. Opening the heart, opening the crown of the head, attracting opportunities, prosperity, attracting, opening, No, you deserve it. No, you are loved. Final minute, keep up. Go deep within. Five seconds. Perfect the posture, almost there. Now we have hold the breath, project out through the head, through the fingers. So relax. Gyan mudra, palms up, index fingers and thumbs together. Keep the heart lifted, chin in. Shoulders relax, long deep breaths, third eye focus. Tip of the tongue into the mouth. Exhale, final asana, final practice. Arms will be at the sides. Bend the forearms up with the palms flat, facing forward. Comfortably relax, maybe a little rounded. And visualize green energy chanting from the heart, feeling a, side, a slight pull at the navel as you chant. Hari, 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 
Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari,
Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, Hari, When you feel complete with your gratitude meditation, rest on the back in Savasana, horse pose. Arms at the sides, palms up. Eyes softly closed, muscles in the face, nerves behind the eyes relaxed, soft in the breath. And you may scan the body from the toes to the crown, after which just completely let go, relax.
Resurrect your breathing and return movement to the fingers and toes when feeling awake. Rotate the wrists and ankles, wide circles in both directions. Stretch the arms, stretch the legs. And take a cat stretch, hugging the right knee into the chest, crossing it over the left leg, turning to face the right. And then do the opposite side, left knee into the chest, cross it over the right leg, turn to face the left. And back to center, roll the soles of the feet and palms of the hands. Round the feet. Bless the face and slowly raise the hands up as you open the eyes, staring at the creases in the palms. Hug the knees in, rock around, rock side to side, and rock forward back. And come up, comfortable seat. Hold your hands together. And inhale the tune out. Ain't the long time sunshine upon you, all of the surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sunshine upon you. All us around you and the pure light within you guide your way on, guide your way on, guide your way on. So Why did you call us? Why did you keep the day? 